Grandma! Okay, guys. In the first round, I want you to prepare a Coca-Cola jelly for me. That's easy. Gotcha! A jelly? Oh, I've never done this. And I really even have an idea where to start. First, of course, you need to take a Coke. Let's do this. Uh, almost perfect. Except for a couple of drops. Oh, chill, you better try off. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. First of all, I need to free up the Coke bottle a little. I'll do it in the most pleasant way. And now, the signature burn. <laughs> oh, oh, wow! And you were saying something about manners! Okay, you need to add a little candy to the cola. It'll be tastier and more beautiful with it. Next, I'll pour corn syrup into the same bottle. It is thanks to it that my cola will soon turn into jelly. It remains only to shake it thoroughly. Oh, it seems the corn syrup was too sticky. Yeah, let's move on. Wait, yeah, it's definitely too sticky. We'll have to tear it out by force! Otherwise, how will Becky taste my masterpiece? Oh, come on! Oh, Whew. it worked. Oh well, my jelly is almost ready. It remains only to cool it a little so that it is even more jelly-like and delicious to taste. Awesome. Oh, everything is too complicated. The best jelly is ordinary honey, which you can just put in ice. Isn't that a brilliant idea? Yeah, complete nonsense. I'll show you how to make real jelly. To begin with, pour the cola into the pan. After that, I'll throw some cold marmalades into this cola. They will melt and make my future masterpiece even better. The last ingredient is secret. I'll give the jelly a brilliant glow. Now, the resulting mixture should be cooked in a frying pan, stirring it thoroughly. And when the jelly's ready, you can pour it into a bottle. Just like so. Filling it up. And the last step is cooling the jelly. Okay. No one can handle this as well as liquid nitrogen. We need to fill the bottle. Then wait a few seconds. Children, be careful. Do not do this without adults. Ready. Vicky, it's time to choose today's winner. I don't even know where to start. Everything looks very appetizing. Perhaps let the grandmother be the first. Um, tastes like ordinary honey. Now it's chef's turn. It looks beautiful, of course, but why is it so shiny? Well, Jill is the one left. Wow! Very tasty! I think no one has a question. Jill becomes the winner! Yeah! I knew that! Oh, what is this? This is everything you need to make waffles! Let's go, guys! It'll be done. Uh, waffles? But what? Oh, waffles are my signature dish! And I know better than anyone what kind of waffles my granddaughter prefers. First, you need to knead the dough. Everything is standard here. Flour, eggs, butter. And oh, we're without sugar and milk. Milk, by the way, is unrealistically good. The dough is almost ready. How do you like this speech, huh? Um, not impressive. My machine does it faster. Oh, oh how so? Oh, 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 faster! Oh, faster! Oh, Jill, I'm sorry. Yeah, with two hands, it's way faster. Yeah, I doubt that. Here, I have everything ready. It remains only to divide the dough into small parts. And now, putting them in separate bowls. It's colorful. Now we can cook our waffles. With the help of colored dough, I'll be able to make colored waffles. And I also have a very tasty. I've already tried everything myself. 
Yum! Hello. Do you think you can compete with the great chef Annie? As if not so. My rainbow waffle is ready. Now you need to present it beautifully. Why not do it on a black plate? And some whipped cream will play the role of clouds. And a little bit of color sprinkles will not hurt. For extra beauty. Awesome! Right on top! Oh, I know that my granddaughter loves my grandmother's waffles the most! And they're already done! Decorating them with ice cream and berries! There is nothing better on such a sunny summer day! And a little maple syrup wouldn't hurt either! Yup! That's weird! <laughs> Calm down! I have everything under control! Oh, man! Or not! Oh, I have an idea! I'll definitely have something useful there, but not that! <gasps> Big ears! I didn't know you had time to get into my backpack! Oh, and here's what I need! Noodles! It is from the instant noodles that I'll make a new waffle! Putting it in… Look! It turned out very appetizing! Oh, um, I don't think so! Now let's ask Vicky! Well, well! What kind of noodle waffle is this? Never seen this before! I hope this is also good! Let's check it out! Ugh! Disgusting! I've never tried anything worse in my life! But grandma made waffles like I love. It's nice to know how some people care about you. Thanks, grandma. It's unrealistically delicious. Oh, yeah. Cool. Wow. And Chef Annie made a real work of art. Besides, it's very tasty. Bravo. But perhaps this time no one can compare with granny's waffles. I love them since I was a child! She is the winner! Oh, hooray! I knew I could beat everyone! What is it this time? I want donuts! I hope you'll please me with them! I'll make donuts quickly! Hey, delicious! Oh? Oh, never mind! Delicious? I agree! <laughs> Natalie's so good! Uh, uh, have we already started? Uh, sorry. I was completely distracted. But okay, I'm ready to start cooking. First, I need to take a pack of Oreos and crush the cookies. ta -da! Now this crumb needs to be mixed with Nutella. My favorite part of cooking. Because after that, you can try what I've got. Oh yeah, yummy! It remains only to pour the resulting chocolate mixture into this machine for making donuts. Just look at that! Oh, where is it? Oh, here's the donut mix! Thank you, chef! I'll pour it in the form of the mold. And let's wait. Ah, uh, how slow you are! Here are my mini donuts already! Look how lovely it is! Now they need to be divided in half. Just like so. Gotcha. And then I'll put some syrup inside. Almost done. Now I need liquid marshmallow. Which I'll decorate my donuts with right on top. To do this, I'll put it in a bag and squeeze it on the donuts through the hole on the other side. So convenient and very tasty. And the last step remains. Sprinkles! Without it, donuts are not donuts. Just look at how quickly I cooked it. Masterpiece. You can only envy. Oh, why so? My donuts are almost ready. I just have to sprinkle them with powdered sugar. Oh, oh, chill. Oh, I'm sorry. Now everything is ready. I really want to try these donuts, but I'm holding on. Oh, they're for Vicky! <laughs> and for her sister, Jill. 
Oh, what a mess! What? No need to wave a dangerous device like that! Yeah! Look how lovely it is! And these donuts will be even tastier after I additionally smeared them with Nutella! Vicky! It's time to choose who wins this time! Chef Annie has the most beautiful donuts! I wanna try them first! Mm, they're not just beautiful, but also incredibly delicious! I'm absolutely delighted! Next, let's try grandma's donuts! Oh, delicious! But, too usual. I was waiting for something more. Jill, I hope your donuts will surprise me! Chocolate like I love! But, Chef Amy still has the most delicious donuts. Let's congratulate her on her victory! Start the culinary challenge. I want a donut with frosting! Not a question. Grandma will cook everything for you. It's easy. Wow, Grandma, when did you have time to knead the dough already? Experience comes to those who have been practicing for years. I have a special mold to cut them out of the dough. And for frying, I'll take more oil. So the donut will come out juicy inside and crispy outside. I wonder if I can do the same. What's complicated here? You take a mold and cut out the dough. That's it. Oh, honey, be careful. You're scaring grandma. <laughs> mm, then you need to take the oil, right? I remember that I need to pour more in since I poured a lot. We have to put on the fire. I'll make great donuts. Mm, let's go. Oh, what's going on? Oh, help! How much smoke? <laughs> oh. The kitchen is no place for children. I'm almost 12! And I can handle the smoke! Here, take it! There you go! Oh, I have to turn it off! Oh, I think it's okay. But what my donuts have turned into? This is no good. We'll have to throw them away. Oh, Jane, you scare grandma so much! What's complicated here? I don't understand. Have everything ready. Donuts are delicious, rubby. And as a filling, I'll add strawberry sauce. And now we need to dip the donut into the icing. I've already prepared it in advance, and now the final touches. It turned out well. Grandma will not be able to make it as beautiful. But who said that grandma will not succeed? I know the secret of good donuts. Powdered sugar. <laughs> mm, what should I do? And there are no more products left except for this cheese. Hmm, it seems that I have a brilliant idea. The cheese is also stringy as the dough, so I'm going to make cheese donuts out of it. There we go. I'll add some sprinkle of chips crumbs. Get some chips! Oh, what's going on? An earthquake? No, it's your granddaughter messing around. Calm down. I'm not messing around. I'm cooking for baby Gloria. So, I can roll a donut in it now. It's coming out great. But there's something missing. I know. To make the donut tastier, you need to fry it well. And it's better right there, on the stove, without a frying pan. Because it's more fun that way. Jane, how much you can indulge? So which dish will win the first round? Maybe homemade donuts from grandma. Or donuts and frosting from the chef. Or maybe a cheese tray from sister Jane. My eyes are running wild! Such beautiful pink donuts! It's so delicious! They have my favorite strawberry filling! Mm, they look… normal. And the taste? Also regular. I'm not impressed. Wow, what an interesting donut! We need to try it. This cheese! It stretches and melts in your mouth! Very good! But which one should I choose? Mmm. Well, let's think. Okay, strawberry donuts have one. I knew that. And now I want to eat a salad. Wow! What salad? It's Caesar salad, the most famous salad. I can do that. Now I'm going to chop everything into small pieces. Oh dear. Stop acting like that, young lady! In the kitchen, you need to be very careful. Especially with a knife in your hand. Vegetables need to be carefully cut and beautifully arranged. And the chicken! Delicious chicken! We need to add it to the vegetables. I won't say that. 
Now I'll show you what a beautiful self-serving is. And for this, I'll send a whole bunch of greens to the blender. Now I'll add some water to it. And let's mix it. Ah, <laughs> green porridge! It's not porridge, Jane. It's high cuisine. The resulting mixture should be cooled quickly to make jelly. And put it on a plate. Let's do it. Wow! <laughs> That's interesting. Yes, may I? But now you can add vegetables to the dish and cut the breast fully. But that's not all. A small bottle of oil. After all, beauty lies in the details. Oh, who's spoiling my dish? You can't spoil a dish with cheese, hmm. right, Jane? Yeah, Grandma. But what about me? I didn't have time to cut the vegetables. Jane, you're messing around again. Oh, what a horror. It's like a mountain of leftovers. Such a dish will definitely not win. We need to come up with something. I'm going to make you a salad, Gloria. And you don't need to cut anything. It's enough to break it into small pieces. And jelly ice and marshmallows. I want to add more marshmallows. And that's it! Oh, oh such beautiful and delicious dishes our participants have turned out to have. But will Gloria like them? We'll find out right now. <laughs> and I'll start with… um… this! Green jelly thing! Funny. I'll try it. What a mess! No, I'm giving the salad a dislike. And this salad looks quite normal. Simple salad. Simple taste. Nothing special. Okay. Let's move on. Wow! How cool! It's a marmalade gum jelly salad. How delicious! I really like it. I choose this one as the winner. Yeah, I like it. Hooray, I knew it! Give me a high five! Gloria, come oh. on. I want to eat fried eggs. It couldn't be more simple. Grandma can handle it. Okay. Even your sister can do it. Pour the butter and heat the frying pan. Grandma, give me one too. It doesn't seem to be pouring. Why does so little oil come out? I'll shake the bottle. I think I broke it. Oh. Jane. Okay. Grandma can already start cooking. I'll break two eggs like this. And I'll break it. Okay. Oh, how so? I'm so sloppy. No one cooks eggs like this anymore. Yeah. That's what I'll do. First, I'll warm up the cream. I'll add orange zest and secret ingredient to them. With its help, the dish will turn out the same as in the best restaurants. And now… I'll chop the peaches and add the special substance of molecular cuisine to them. It's time to create some culinary magic. And fry molecular eggs. Let's pour it on a pan, and there we go. Wow, I've seen this on YouTube! Jane, be careful! Oh, my eggs! Everything is on fire! What a nightmare! Yeah, baby Gloria won't stay hungry anyway. Grandma's eggs look very appetizing. Yes, Jane, you have no chance at this round. And will baby Gloria like molecular cuisine? We'll find out right now. Hmm, where should I start? I want to try this one. Yeah, not bad. Okay. And what is this? No. I won't try it. Hey, you. Hmm, such unusual eggs. Wow. It's sweet! It's so good! I like it! I choose this one! <laughs> I knew that! Grandma, come on! I want to eat a sandwich! Yeah! Of course, dear. I'm glad to cook! A sandwich is easy. I always eat toast with Nutella. Only this time, I'm going to do something better. I'll have more toppings. My favorite marshmallows, strawberry chocolate bars, and sweet and sour marmalade tongues. Mm, how delicious awesome. it turned out. But it seems to me that this sandwich lacks something else. Oh yeah? Sweet gel and sour fizzy candies. What a great idea I came up with. Original. But I think it's better to stick to the traditional recipe. Mustard, ham, cheese, lettuce leaves. Put everything together. And now you can fry the sandwich until crisp on both sides. No, Grandma, bread should be fried first. And only then add the filling. After all, it should not be hot.
And now, the main exquisite jealousy are snails. What? Snails? What a stink! What a smell! It smells like Paris! And now you can put it on a plate. I'll add seafood. Oh, great! And finally, I'll add cheese with mold. Oh, grandma is getting sick! This is culinary masterpiece. Unbelievable. I've outdone myself. I'll have a nice sandwich too. Oh, the chocolate has melted. But I know what can be done. We need to take a bowl of water and pour more ice into it. And now you can draw patterns with chocolate. And it'll freeze in any shape. I saw this live hack on TikTok. Oh, good girl. Let's do it. Such different participants and such different sandwiches. What will Gloria choose? We'll find out right now. Wow! What a sweet little heart! What kind of sandwich is this? Uh, what an unpleasant teeth it has! Oh, it's snails! Who thought of putting that? The sandwich is so beautiful! A wonderful chocolate heart! Mm, how delicious! I like a sweet sandwich! Well, this sandwich looks ordinary. Let's try it. Oh, how yummy! It's better than everyone else's! I choose this as a winner! Yes! Grandma cooked it! Hey, Grandma, don't sleep! Oh, what am I? Here's the first task! Pancakes! What are you waiting for? Start cooking! Oh, this is my signature dish. Let's not waste time. My granddaughter has been hungry for a long time. Turning on the stove. We're taking a little. Getting the dough. And cooking it. It is very simple. So the first pancake is ready for my granddaughter. I've got it. Well, no fantasy. I'll make the brightest pancakes for my sister. She'll definitely like my idea. Let's pour it in. And now let's add some color. And another drop. Mix well. Wow! It looks really cool. Now we're going to the frying pan. It seems to be ready. Hurry up on the plate before it burns! I'll make pancakes of all colors of the rainbow! Awesome! Well, I'll decorate the pancakes with butter and maple syrup. Yeah! Delicious! Cool! How beautiful they are! So colorful! I'll add marshmallows to them and I'll definitely win! That's yummy! Perfect! Just a masterpiece! Already drooling! Okay. I'll add more color sprinkles and I can serve it! It turned out cool! It is hard for, for children to eat sweet, so I'll decorate my dish with a poached egg. We take a pot of water and put it on the stove. Be sure to make a whirlpool in it and pour a raw egg into boiling water. That's the whole secret! I'll add some ham to the pancakes and decorate it with salad. Our dish is almost ready. Carefully take out the egg and put it on the pancakes. The final touch, sprinkle with parsley and you can serve it! I'm proud of myself. Ugh, disgusting. Are you done? Then let's try. Wow, they're so delicious. I think I'll start with this one. Mmm. It's pretty tasty. Come on! Wow, these are so bright. <laughs> Very tasty. This is clearly my favorite one. So what do we have here? What a horror! This is not going to work! The color pancakes win! It's very tasty! Hooray! Hey. Now I want pizza! Oh yeah! Let's okay. do it! 
Awesome. Good choice. Come on. First, I'll cut out a piece of dough. I'll take tomato paste and thoroughly smear it on our pizza. I'll have to do it carefully. Like that. It's good that my brush is always at hand. With its help, cooking is much faster. Rub the cheese well. It will turn out very tasty. And finally, we're taking pepperoni. The pizza is almost ready. What are you doing? Oh. Oops. Oops. Oh, what a clumsy fellow you are. Oh, my pizza is gone. Hey. What? Is this for me? Thank you so much! I have an idea. I'll make a sweet pizza and it'll be the coolest. Okay. I'll add marshmallows instead of sauce. The pizza will be very tasty. What do we have here? Skittles! It's perfect. I'll use it for the filling. It's perfect. Oh, come on! Hmm, we need to come up with something unusual. Hey, I have an idea. I'll paint my pizza black. Oh, come on! Add a little dye and smear it all around. I'll use a brush for that. The base for my black pizza is ready. We'll take the tomato sauce and spread it evenly over the dough. Oh man! Almost done. I've got it. It's turning out great. Of course, what a pizza without cheese. Okay. It definitely cannot be extra. There it is. It remains to add the toppings. I think seafood is perfect for such an unusual pizza. Just lovely. Awesome. Look at that. Our chefs are ready to send our pizzas to the oven. Ready. Hot pizza can be served on the table. Oh no! What happened to my pizza? It's ruined! And my pizza is fine. Mm, what a pleasant smell. It's time to try it. Wow! What kind of weird pizza is this? Is it black? And why are there shells on it? Ew! Wow! What a bright pizza! Let's try it. It's weird, but it'll do. What's next? This is my favorite pepperoni pizza! How delicious! Cool. This pizza wins! Awesome. Thank you, granddaughter! Bon appetit! Oh. Now I want ice cream! Woo. I will make the most delicious ice cream for my granddaughter. Of course, I'll add a cake to it. I can already imagine how she will like my dessert. Okay, let's start. The most important thing is to finally chop each piece. Therefore, we take the blades and start grinning the cake as soon as possible. What is that? Why am I covered in sponge cake? Young man, why are you allowing yourself? Oh, sorry, I got a little carried away. <laughs> Oh, what could be more simple? I'll make the best ice cream. Yes, perfect! However, as always, it's time to add decorations. I'll rub some orange peel. Everyone likes orange color. And, of course, a mint leaf. And now, my secret ingredient. I'll add steaming water. How beautiful! She came up with nonsense again and is happy. You have to cook with love. This is the only way the dish will become the most delicious. Um, it seems that something went wrong. Oh, this modern trendy dishes. Almost done. Okay. It remains to pour my favorite syrup and I can treat my granddaughter. That's it. 
beautiful. Well, the ice cream is ready. It remains only to put it in a bowl and rock it. Okay. Yep, I think I'm on the right track. It looks cool. And whipped cream. My sister just loves it. Oh, wow. I'll take Skittles for decoration. They're so bright. The ice cream will be the most beautiful one. And also some of our favorite Oreos and add some sweet straws. Alright! Hmm, something is missing. Wow! Chocolate syrup! Can I borrow some? Okay. Great! The final touch is done. I've got it! Well, are you ready to show off your ice cream? Then go ahead. Where to start? Wow, how many things there are! Let's try it. This is the most delicious ice cream in my life! Very tasty. So what do we have here? Um, why is there a leaf on it? It's kind of strange. Let's leave it out. Ew, what a horror! I don't want to eat it. Hey, you! Let's try another one. Oh, it's weird. But quite tasty. Oh, man. The winner is this ice cream. Yeah, I won! Oh, come on! So the heroes have a responsible task to feed the baby. And what does she want? <laughs> the baby wants french fries. Mm -hmm. Nothing complicated. We'll do everything. I know the recipe. It seems that you need to pour oil. I'll pour more. It'll be fatter and tastier. So for sure, everything will fry well. I'll fill up the whole pan with some oil. Let's turn it on and let's start. I'll use the whole pack because there are never too many of the french fries. Hey. Granddaughter, what are you doing? Oh, it's burning! We need to put out the fire quickly! Oh no, 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 no! It's not like the recipe on YouTube! Oh. Almost burned down the kitchen and all of us! Oh. Better learn from grandma. Now grandma will show you how to do it. We'll take quite a bit of oil. Turn down the heat a little and put the potatoes in. So it'll be perfect. I'll toss it around and put it on a plate. What? Oh, how well it turned out. It's all for my granddaughter. It remains to add the most delicious ketchup. French fries and ketchup are the perfect combination. My granddaughter will definitely like it. And how many calories are in this dish? I'll show you how it should be. We get rid of excess oil. Then we wrap the potatoes in a piece of fragrant bacon and twist the roll. Just like that. Add a drop of cranberry gluten-free jam from Duro's on top. Just like that. And add some rosemary on top. The masterpiece is ready. I've come up with something better. Banana marshmallow trolley is so similar to potatoes. And if you add Hershey's strawberry mm -hmm. syrup, it'll be just like potatoes with ketchup. But it tastes so sweet. That's what my little sister will really like. <laughs> Finally, everything is ready. And the baby has already been waiting for her food. The dish from my grandmother was the first to attract attention. Classic french fries and ketchup. It looks really delicious. The baby obviously liked it. I wonder how she would like a dish for real gourmets. The chef took an unusual recipe, but it was not appreciated. And there was a gift from my sister. It looks like potatoes and ketchup, but this… Yes! It's a sweet marshmallow with strawberry sauce. Deep and eat. Hmm. It remains to choose the winner. A dish from grandma. Yes, I won. Oh, it hurts. What will the baby want to eat now? Oh, she wants to eat sushi. What is this? I don't know how to cook it. Show grandma what to do. 
First, you need to boil the rice in a special way. I'll do it. Grandma knows how to cook rice. <laughs> uh, sushi with nasty seaweed. I'd rather do something sweet again. Or sweet and sour. Let's take the sweet and sour tongues. Add whipped cream instead of sauce. Wrap a marmalade eye and a few marmalades from Haribo. How big and colorful they turn out. Have you ever seen sushi like that? This is just absolutely perfect. Now you need to take a sheet of nori and cut it in half. It's all dry, it's breaking. How did you do that? Because I'm a professional, Grandma. I'm gonna cut some fish. Perfect slices. Put some rice on the mat. And some nori. I twist it with the mat. Put some fish on top. Cut it. And that's it. Classic Philadelphia roll with ginger and wasabi is ready. <laughs> Granny can't make these rolls of yours. They don't keep their shape. Bingo! I have an idea. I'm just gonna cut some cucumbers. Get rid of the center and put rice in it. Perfect. <laughs> now it's time for the baby to try it. Let's start with these. Sushi from the chef look perfect. And it tastes cool. incredible. What a big and bright roll. And very, very tasty. So delicious that she immediately chose them as the winner. This time, a sweet gift from my sister overcame everyone. Oh, you haven't tried mine. Hey, Grandma, wake up. The granddaughter wants something delicious again. She wants to drink a chocolate cocktail for dessert. This is my favorite recipe. We'll need some ice cubes. I'll pour more chocolate sauce into the jar. Starbucks milk chocolate to the brim. And I'll create some milk foam with a hand mixer. Oh, um, sorry, Grandma. You got too close. What is this bag in Grandma's hands? Instant coffee three in one? Is she really going to give this to her granddaughter? Yeah, but it seems that grandma herself likes it. Now add the whipped cream. I often cook myself such a recipe. By the way, don't forget about yourself. Sprinkle the Oreo cookie crumbs on top. Put the cookie on. Such a cocktail should be drunk through a straw. That's it! The perfect chocolate milkshake. Who cooks it like that? That's a horror! I have made coffee sweet drinks more than once. We need fresh coffee beans. I measure everything to the gram. I grind the grains into fine crumbs. Then I brew it in French press. The coffee will be perfect. Pour it into the cup. And adding some milk. I'm gonna create some foam out of it. I certainly won't spray anyone because I'm a professional. And the snowflake decoration. Perfect. <laughs> oh my! It's time to try the drinks. The hand itself reaches for a beautiful glass. It's a wonderful cocktail. Also delicious cookies on top. It's perfect! Hmm. What cannot be said about the instant coffee? Our grandma wanted to poison her granddaughter. It's impossible to drink. Oh. Coffee foam from the chef with a pleasant aroma. But the hmm. taste is nothing unusual. The baby chooses the beautiful cocktail. Yes, keep it up, sis. You've won again. The next task is for you to drum roll make some waffles. Okay. What? What is it? And I know the recipe. Break the eggs. Add sugar. You can have more so the waffles will taste even better. And get in the way, get in the way, get in the way. Oh, I'm tired of doing that. Perhaps that's enough. And now we can add some flour. How much is needed? Oh, uh, Grandma, I'm sorry, I got you dirty again. More flour, more waffles. 
Uh, maybe you don't need so much flour. I'll put the axes back. It won't work out that way. But she will definitely like my old grandmother's proven recipe. The dough came out perfect. <laughs> Here! Now you can pour the dough into the waffle iron. And I'm almost done too. Perfect rosy waffles will come soon. <laughs> what are you feeding the baby? No. It is necessary to eat healthy food. We won't need sugar. <laughs> we better take zucchini. Perfect. Now we're gonna add some eggs. Put flour. And we're gonna create some dough. I'll do it quickly with a mixer. How ugly it looks! And let's try our super healthy waffles. <sighs> They're almost done! Yummy! Perfect! I'll put it on a plate. Add some strawberry whipped cream and berries. I love how it turned out. And I'm gonna put some traditional maple syrup. Pour it all over. Oh my God. And a piece of butter. <laughs> Lovely. Oh my. Oh, the waffles are done. Green is the color of health. There's not enough beauty in this presentation. I'll make the count's runes and more greenery on top. Bellissimo. <laughs> oh, she's back with her proper nutrition. Here, granddaughter. These waffles look exactly like she wanted them to. But was it this unusual feeling? <gasps> An axe shell! You have to be careful when you cook. And what is this green color? Grass on top again? Steal a piece is worth a try. A very small one. <laughs> it smells good. But that still tastes disgusting. What to expect from these waffles? Wow, it seems that the baby really liked them. Here's the winner. Hooray, they're mine! I did it! So many products. And that's great. I'm sure you'll be able to cook me something with it. And more importantly, a pasta. <laughs> well, it's worth a try. I wonder where to start. I'll probably take spaghetti. I think they need to be shoved in the water. That's it. But why don't they fit? I'll try to do it with a spoon. <gasps> I came up with something. I need a different approach. I'll just break the spaghetti in half. Poor chain. How incompetent you are. I should have paid more attention to you. You need to take spaghetti, gently put it in hot water, and wait a little until they soften and completely immerse them into the pan. Hooray! Grandma, you shouldn't teach a girl. She needs to take an example from professionals. I will cook homemade noodles. They're much better than store-bought ones. To do this, I will need premium flour, a neck, and a little salt. I'll knead it properly. And the dough is ready. I want to paint it black, and for this, I'll use cold fish ink. It's completely safe. It only takes a few drops. And now, we'll mix the dough and give the dough a little rest under the foil. I'm not sure you have enough time to cook this dish. I have everything under control. It's time to roll out the dough. It's the hardest job, but I can do it. And now, I'll take a special knife and cut the dough into strips. Look how soft it is! I'm sure my dish will turn out very tasty. I sprinkle the dough with flour. Well, that's all. You can boil it. I'll throw it into boiling water, stir it, and wait. The main thing is not to let pasta stick together. Now you can put it on a plate. And now I'll prepare the dressing. In my opinion, seafood goes completely great together with pasta. I'll just fry some small octopuses. Mm -hmm. It looks a little strange. Mm. You don't understand it. It's high cuisine. I'll add the sauce and that's it. Bobby will definitely appreciate it. I think my boy likes ketchup better. Jane, what are you doing? I'm trying to get spaghetti out of the pan. Doesn't look like pasta at all. Rather I got a pasta casserole. I think it's better to throw it away. I came up with an idea. I'll take some Chinese noodles. Bobby always loves them. 
I'll open it as spices and pour boiling water. That's how I like it to cook. Uh, it looks pathetic. And in my opinion, pretty good. Yay! Wow, so many dishes. My eyes are running wild. Don't even know where to start. Mmm, I hate octopuses. They're scary. But I like pasta with ketchup. I love the sauce. Mmm, I think granny did it. Chinese noodles are a pleasant surprise. I've always liked it. Oh no, they're so spicy! Oh, actually, it's pretty good. I think they're gonna win. Thank you! What does my boy want now? There, cook me some chips. Whatever you say, kid. I have no idea what to do. Don't worry, Jane. First, you need to peel the potatoes. And now we cut them as thin as possible. Pour some oil. And it'll create a delicious crispy crust. Turn on the stove at full power and send the potatoes to the frying pan. Seems like nothing complicated. Thanks, Grandma. I'll try it. I'll take the potatoes and peel them. Seems I'm doing something wrong. Mm, why do I have such a small piece left? Although, I think it won't affect the taste. So, now we can pour the oil. I turn on the tile and lay out the potatoes. No, Jane! Don't do this! Ow! How hot! I was doing with oil! It was necessary to lay out carefully. Quick, cover yourself. Cooking is clearly not your thing. Come on, you'll see it'll turn out well. Jane, because of you, I got distracted and almost forgot about my dish. Mm, my dish are gonna be special again. We're gonna make them out of tortillas. Thanks to this, it'll be even more crispy and delicious. I send the sliced tortillas to the hot oil. Look how it sizzles. What you need. That's all. You can get it. Just like real nachos. Only spices are missing, but I'll fix that. First, you need to serve the dish. I put the toasted pieces on a black plate. Instead of spices, I'm gonna take some cheese. How delicious it flows. It is very difficult to resist and not try. I'll add some vegetables for decorations, and that's all. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I also need lime juice. It'll set off the taste. Look at how perfect it is. I'll put them on a plate. Wow, well, I won't refuse such a dish either. But my potatoes don't look good. Do I really have to throw everything away again? Wait, I've come up with something. You need to add spices. They will hide all the flaws. I'll put the potatoes in a bowl and spring generously on top. Looks a little better already. I'll mix it up and… That was fun. Let's put it on a plate. I see you're all doing your best. Bon appetit, Bobby. Try it. Well, I'll start with this. Ugh, how many spices! I don't like it. This dish looks prettier. Okay. Whoa, what do I see? Nachos? Well, I definitely didn't expect this. Oh, it's no. cheese sauce, I hate it. So the middle one wins. Oh, thank you, my boy. These are real cakes! That's right, Jane. Use them to make me a cake. Wow, I want to get down in business right away. Okay. I have no doubt because you're still my sweet tooth. That's why grandma is great at making any dessert. White sponge cake is best combined with buttercream. As you can see, my dish already looks delicious. The main part of the work is done. You need to properly smooth out the cream. And now I'm going to decorate my cake with chocolate bars. Bobby loves them. What else would I add? Mm, came up with something. These airy candies. It looks perfect. You can't think of anything better. I will make bright accents in the form of Skittles. That's it. The last candy. Isn't that a miracle? It's not bad for homemade baking, but it doesn't compare to my dessert. It deserves the best pastry shops and friends. Have you noticed how confident my movements are? 
all these years of work in the kitchen. Now we need to cut the cake exactly in half. I'll add some cream on top. And it looks simple so far, but it's not over yet. Believe me, I'll bring it to mind. I put the other half of the cake on top, like this. And cut out the middle. And now I'll put this on its side. Does it remind you of anything? Soon I'll add color. And you'll understand everything. Purple, blue, yes, it's a real rainbow! As you can see, I did all the work for a reason. Give me a little more time and you will be amazed. Emma, you've come up with some nonsense as usual. Admit it, you're just jealous of me. Look how smooth the cream is. It's a real sight. Um, I was staring and completely forgot about my cake. I need to finish it urgently. Looks like kind of strange. How can I fix it? An idea. Okay. It's worth a try because it won't get any worse anyway. Don't understand. Why do you need this thing on top? It's a secret. You'll see everything. Hmm? How do you like it? Wow. Very unexpected. I hope Bobby likes it. My boy, we have everything ready. <laughs> yeah, it's time to treat yourself to dessert. With pleasure. How many sweet things! Wow, a real rainbow! It tastes just divine! Great, Emma! Good job! And there's a lot of chocolate in this cake. Also delicious. Grandma, it's super! The last cake is left. It looks like a huge iceberg of ice. So much cream. But still the victory goes to Emma. There it is. It's time for the last round. I want cacao with marshmallows. I think it's easy to make a drink. This is my finest hour. Don't jump to conclusions, Jane. Nobody does it better than Granny. I'll need selected milk and saturated cacao powder. I'll put more so that the taste is as chocolatey as possible. And now I'll mix it properly with a whisk. This will get rid of lumps. And um, there's still not enough chocolate. Let's add a whole bar. I'll break it into pieces. Grandma, it looks great! I told you, I have no equal in cacao. I'll pour it into my favorite mug. And that's done. Okay. You're happy early, Grandma. You've never tasted my cacao. Just look at this texture. Mm, perfect. And no milk. Just cream. I need to blend it properly with a mixer to get a gentle foam. And now I'll put it on top. I almost forgot about marshmallows. And a little chocolate sauce on top. Wow, I admit it is impressive. Believe me, even I can cook it. It seems that something is missing. That's right, whipped cream. We need to add more. Bobby will definitely like it. What if we also take some Oreos? I think it'll be very nice to crunch in your mouth. A little candy won't hurt either. Waffle tubes, chocolate syrup, and sprinkles for beauty. Perfect! It's definitely done. Help yourself, Bobby. Wow. Not bad, not bad. Awesome. You continue to please me. Whoa, there's so many sweets on top. You can drink and have a snack at the same time. Perfect balance. But I won't stop. Oh, Grandma, it's your mug. Mm, the drink is so-so. I want to wash it down with something. I think this will do. Oh, it's quite rich. But still, I like the first drink more. I'm the best! Hmm. Let's start with a simple one. Cook me some french fries. Easy. It will be done. I just want to learn how to cook. While everyone is spilling potatoes, I'd better hit the butter. By the way, there is never much of it. Well, the butter is almost boiling, which means that it's time to pour out the ready-made slices of french fries. <gasps> no! Stop! Oh, it's splashing! God, help! <sighs> what are you doing? Because of you, we were almost bombarded by boiling oil. The oil should be poured carefully. Then fry the potatoes evenly. <laughs> 
Cut them. Nothing difficult. Okay. The french fries are ready. There's only a little sauce left to add. <sighs> fries? In my opinion, this is an ordinary fried potato. And I'll make real french fries. But that's not all. Now I'm going to make a real delicacy out of ordinary potatoes. I'll need bacon, some sauce, and of course, sweet rosemary. Mm, smells so good. Bingo! I haven't lost everything yet. Why not use marmalade potato? They say if you dip it in strawberry syrup, it'll be even better. Okay. Well, I'll start trying with potatoes in the middle. Mmm, Grandma, this is very nice. Oh, ew! I can't stand rosemary. I'm sorry, Madame Chef, but I didn't like it. But I appreciate the idea of marmalade potatoes. Brother, you're doing great. Now I don't know who to choose. Let it be grandmother. Hooray! This time this task is more difficult. You need to cook sushi. Come on! It'll be done. According to the best recipe. What? Sushi? Sushi? Yeah, I have no idea what sushi is in the countryside. What is that? I'm going to make sushi that you never dreamed of. What? Ordinary sushi is boring. Another thing is sushi made out of different candies. Instead of cream cheese, there will be delicious whipped cream inside. And of course, gummies. Perfect. We must not forget about the chocolate syrup. An interesting idea. I will also have sushi ready very soon. The main thing is to repeat very carefully after the chef. Nothing complicated yet. Nothing complicated. So let's see what disgusting sushi you have. I can add sauce too. You don't have to be super smart for that. What is that? Avocado? The most important thing is to twist everything perfectly, which you, Grandma, certainly won't succeed at. Ta-da! The perfect sushi is almost ready. What a horror! I didn't think your sushi was so ugly! It's time to wrap sushi in salmon. The main thing is to add a lot of fish cut into chunky pieces. And we must not forget about soy sauce. Hmm. Fish, you say? Okay. It will be done. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> I hope it turned out delicious. <gasps> Whoa. Oh no. The chef's sushi look more attractive. What? Bingo! I can't put this whore in front of my granddaughter, but I have an idea. Why not make cucumber sushi? It's both delicious and healthy. Oh, really? And disgusting. Why is that? Cucumber is an ideal ingredient for sushi. You just need to put more rice into it. Pew. It doesn't look good. Wait a little, I'm not done. Adam, look what a beauty. What is this? What? I've never seen cucumber and rice sushi. They don't even have fish. I'm not chasing it. But I will try sweet sushi with pleasure. Hooray! Mmm, delicious. But it's not satisfying at all. The last candidate is left. Wow. Here they are, real sushi. Mmm, mm, so good. Madame Chef, you have won. Thank you, but it was obvious. Oh no! I hope each of you can make a waffle. I heard that you need to start with dough. I think I won't have any problems with it. Okay. 
We'll add some sugar. Mix it up a little. Perfect. It's time to add flour. Oh, I think I got something in my nose. Wow. Here's a waffle. It's okay. This flour is enough for me to make delicious waffle. You just need to stir everything well. Let's do it. Okay, so now my finished dough can be poured into a waffle iron. These will be the most delicious waffles in my sister's life. Mmm, the dough turned out very tasty, and most importantly, without eggshells. I hope it will make a decent waffle. Aww. Everyone added sugar, but I know that sugar is harmful. So I'll add a whole ripe eggplant instead, and I'll make dough out of it. Let's do it. It will be absolutely perfect. Perfect. And now, we'll add some eggs. And of course, some flour. Let's mix it up well. And add some greens for the taste. It even sounds disgusting. But this dough is much better than yours. Mm, what? And now, you can pour it into a waffle iron. Just like that. And let's time it so we don't burn it. Yeah, timing is pretty good. Oh, it seems the waffle is a little burnt. No, no. Ah, hot, hot! But that's okay. I will hide its not very pleasant appearance with whipped cream, some berries, and chocolate syrup. Just like that. It's awesome! And I will traditionally pour maple syrup on my waffles. A piece of butter will also not be extra. Oh, really? Oh, it's so yummy. And I will decorate my already healthy waffles with healthy herbs. Hello! Let's try it! I'll start with this one. Oh, ew! Your waffle is kind of overcooked. I won't eat that. And this one? Ew! This waffle tastes like grass and eggplant. I hate it. Disgusting. And this one is pretty good. Oh, yes. That's just what I wanted. Grandma, you're winning this round. Hooray. Finally, I want to drink a cup of delicious coffee. Wow. It'll okay. be done. <laughs> Easy. I just came up with a brilliant idea. Hot coffee is boring. Today, cold coffee, which is frappuccino, is infection. You need to throw ice in a large jar. Wow. Then you need to add delicious chocolate syrup there. And of course, we must not forget about the coffee itself. I have it from Starbucks, by the way. And a cocktail of Twix chocolates will definitely not be extra. I'll blend it up a little and use it instead of milk. And I think I'll make a more classic coffee. I know that my granddaughter loves it. <sighs> Ta da! And this is the end. You need to add whipped cream and some chocolate sweets. Let's go! Yeah! Oreo cookies. Mmm, mm, so yummy. And a candy bar. Of course, we must not forget about the straw. <sighs> oh well. It's my turn to make coffee. With the help of a scale, I will measure the right amount of grains. Perfect. Okay. 
Now, I will manually grind them to be the desired state. Look and learn! Hmm. And only now, I will pour boiling water to the coffee. The coffee is actually made that way? Perfect. <sighs> now, I will pour coffee into the cup. Mm, and I'll blend the milk on my own as well. Mm -hmm. You should also not forget about the appearance. Look what a beauty! Wow! <laughs> hmm. Um, I'll start with the middle one. Grandma, I'll always recognize this coffee. And it's time to admit that I don't like it at all. Oh. <laughs> okay. The first mug looks more pleasant. Delicious, but a little bitter for me. No. The last candidate left to win. Mmm, that's really cool. Brother, you win this round. Yeah, finally! What does my granddaughter want? I want ice cream. I know such a recipe. It's fried ice cream. Yes. Hmm. To get the ice cream of the desired consistency, it needs to be finely chopped into pieces. Whoa. Um, it's easy. Grandma, and I can do that too. ch ch easiest pie. Watch your nice, young lady. And don't throw food around the kitchen. Okay. That's what happens when amateurs get to work. No, that's not good. I'll make it according to the original recipe. Okay. You need to pour the milk and cream on flat surface. Cut any berries. I have strawberries and add to the milk base. Now you can chop everything well. When the mass hardens, you can cut it and twist it into rolls. I can do that too. Cut and twist, nothing complicated. Now I'll put it in a glass and decorate it. I'll add whipped cream. It looks a little pale. I'll decorate it with rainbow Skittles. A sugar straw for beauty and Oreo cookies. Now grandma will also cut her ice cream into pieces. Awesome! Perfect, let's put it inside. I'll pour strawberry sauce on them. Yeah! Grandma, you're doing it wrong. And the sauce is also useful to me. And also put marmalade berries on top. And I'll also put some berries. Strawberries and then blueberries. I'll decorate everything with sprinkles. ta -da! Perfect! Awesome! <laughs> How terrible! Here, Jane, watch and learn! You can decorate ice cream with lemon zest. The sour taste of lemon will be perfectly combined with the sweetness of ice cream. Lemon peel can be used to make an unusual decor. Yes! Add a little ice to keep the ice cream shape in longer. Wow! And for serving, as in the most expensive Whoa. restaurants, I will use dry ice. I'll add some smoke and put it under the lid. Perfect. Voila. What a beauty came out from the chef. Incredible. Yeah, grandma's ice cream doesn't look so impressive. There are so many ingredients in a cup from my sister. But let's see what kind of ice cream baby Gloria will like the most. I want this one. Mmm, there's strawberries and cream. Very tasty. Um, what a fuck! What's there? That's just what I wanted. How much smoke? Ugh. Mm, uh, it's sour. It looks strange. Doesn't taste very good either. I choose this one. Hooray! This is mine! Grandma! Gloria's asking to eat! I want a lollipop. Here's such a multicolor one. All right, all oh, right. Grandma can see well, but okay. I used to do something like that. You need to boil the caramel. To do this, take sugar and add it to the water. And now you need to stir it all the time. Do you know the recipe too, Emma? Then repeat. 
<laughs> They're always fighting. So it seems that nothing is complicated. Sugar and water. Put it in a saucepan. Okay. Oh. Let's mix it. You need to check the temperature of the caramel before pouring into the molds. Otherwise, it may crack. Okay. Perfect. Now you can distribute it into molds. Add rainbow shades as Gloria has asked. Yeah, Grandma, watch and learn. Precisely. Gloria wanted a colorful lollipop. Yes, I have a natural dye. Grandma, you're so strong! Grandma is also not capable of that. Here, now you can pour it into molds. I will insert the sticks before the caramel is frozen. So, the caramel has frozen. Now you can take out the lollipops. Whoa! Grandma likes it! I'll twist the caramel into one of these bundles. And now I'll twist it into a large lollipop. Just like that. Perfect. Wow! Oh, it smells like something burnt! This is my caramel! It burned down! Granddaughter, you're such a slop! What should I do? Well, I can sculpt too. My sister has jars of colorful plasticine. I'll make the sausages out of them and twist them into a thin tourniquet, as Emma did. I'll get a rainbow lollipop too. Um, it's an edible, true, but beautiful. Everything is ready. Perfect. What will you choose, Gloria? Candy from grandma? A plasticine miracle from your sister? Or candy from the chef? What? I want, I want, I want this. Mm? It looks normal. Mm, what a strange taste it has. Oh. I'll try this one. Strange, it smells like my plasticine. I'll try. Yeah, this is my plasticine. Who right, my plasticine jars? What a beauty! <gasps> Very sweet and beautiful! I choose this one! Hooray! I've cooked this! And now I want to eat chips! Yeah, this is a simple dish to prepare! Sister Jane, the chef and grandma enthusiastically set to work! That's it! And now I'll cut the potatoes into thin circles. Hey, I don't have such a thing. And what should I cut with? We need to find something suitable. Um, um. Oh, found it! My comb. What a nightmare. And what? Just look at how beautiful the slices have turned out. <laughs> no, Jane. I'll make beautiful chips. Okay. Look what kind of device I ordered for myself. With it, you can cut potatoes into spirals. Impale on sticks. And that's what will come out. Big deal. Grandma is better the old-fashioned way. Fry potatoes in a frying pan. She asked for chips, not fried potatoes. And I'll cook spirals in a deep fryer. Deep fryer? I'll do that too! Finally, everything is ready. It only remains to serve it beautifully. With paprika and salt. Granny is gonna do that too. And my trick is to pour more ketchup. All you need is salt. Here, granddaughter, eat. Grandma's chips smell so delicious. The sister chips also look good. But the chips from the chef are just gorgeous. Where should I start? What is this? So much ketchup. Jane probably cooked it. She loves ketchup. It's okay, you can eat it. 
Oh. Is that fried potatoes? Mm, not at all what I wanted. Wow, how cool! They taste amazing! Delicious! I choose them! Yeah, I have a one! I wonder how long I can spin without stopping! Hey, get together! Okay. I want the most delicious cake! Wow! Cool! I'll make the coolest one! Nice! Anything! Easy, I'm a professional! Yes! What all kind of right, cake without right, delicious right. cream? Carefully put another cake, another layer of cream, and another cake, and another, and another. Hmm, let's see. I'll do something interesting. Great. A heart cake with for my beloved Margot. I'll decorate it a little. Let's take a Kit Kat and some cream. Hmm, it turned out well. Perfect. And I'll add some chocolates on top. Margot will like it. Now I'll show you how a cake should look like. Cut it in half. Put one half on the other. Cut out the middle. And then turn it over. Now I'm going to use the colored cream. It'll make the cake look even more like a rainbow. I will align the cream a little and make beautiful fluffy yes! clouds next. Perfect. I'll add cute eyes and a mouth. This is how a real masterpiece looks like. You have no chance. <laughs> it is not necessary that the cake is beautiful. The main thing is that it's delicious. Ah, perfect. What? This mountain doesn't even look like a cake. I'm not done yet. Now my cake will also become bright. Milk colored chocolate. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's then add some sparkles. And some more, cause girls love sparkles. Wow, that's so cool. Perfect. My cake will definitely win. Wow, it's not a bad idea, but my cake okay. is still better. Wow, what a beautiful bright cake! Perhaps I'll start with it. Awesome! Mm, how delicious! I'll try grandma's cake next. Mm. Mm, my favorite sweets and chocolate. Perfect. Yes! Um, what kind of weird cake is this? We'll try it. Uh, it doesn't taste good. No. So the cake from the chef has won. I told you I'd win. And it fix your cap. Let's see who makes the best chocolate with marshmallows. Woo! Perfect. Okay. Easy as pie. Yes! I'll do it. Well, why are we sitting? We need to start cooking. My secret to delicious hot chocolate is that I add Margot's favorite chocolate to it. I'll mix it well. Yes! Add some Hershey's. Mm, incredible. Let's mix it again and... <gasps> I'm going to pour it into the mug that Margot gave me. Look what a beauty with my portrait. Oh my. Big deal. A mug. You don't understand. Now I'll try how I did it. Mmm, delicious. Um, okay, as you wish. Okay. Real hot chocolate should be drunk from such glasses, not from mugs. I'll pour hot chocolate now. Okay, you need to whisk the cream and make a beautiful fluffy hat and decorate it with marshmallows. This is how hot chocolate should look like. <laughs> Don't touch it with your hands! Um, what should I do? <gasps> a can of cream! I'll need it! How delicious! We need to make a bigger hat and more marshmallows! Ah, perfect! And also add some candy! Maybe some Oreos. All right, all right, and chocolate all right. sauce. Ah, some cookie sticks. No one has done this for sure. Okay. Well, I'll try hot chocolate first from this participant. How many marshmallows? It's so good. It's impossible to stop. Oh, I gave this mug to grandma. <laughs> Although her hot chocolate is so-so. I need a straw for this glass. Mmm, delicious! Wow. We need to think a little. Nice. And… And 
Andy wins! Hooray! I'm a real master! Oh, I'm chuckling! This time, I want some yes. chips! Wow. How to cook them? I only know how to eat them! Oh, time without your professional tricks! I'll keep an eye on you! Duh. Um, what should I do? Okay. It's simple, look! We take the potatoes, we peel them like this. Then cut them like this. Turn on the stove, pour oil, and put the potatoes in. Well, that's pretty much it. Hmm. Uh, I see. Ah. Well, hold on, potato. Ah. Ha! Now, let's add more oil. There's no time to wait. I'll turn on the stove immediately to the maximum. The lid will be useful for protection. Throwing potatoes, take care. Oops. Um, it seems like it was a bad idea. Be careful, Andy. Oh, I think it turned out perfectly. Oh my. Ordinary chips? <laughs> my chips will be really excellent. Let's take the tortillas. Cut them carefully. Now I'm going to take some oil. You still won't be able to repeat after a professional. Hit the oil and fry the sliced tortillas until golden brown. And now, what kind of nachos without cheese? I'm gonna put some nachos on the plate and then melt the cheese. This already looks so good. We'll pour the sauce over our nachos. Decorate with lime slices and you're done. This is an excellent dish. I won't be so happy that early. Hey! Oh, I completely forgot about them! Ugh, they should be put on a plate. Hope Margot likes that. I don't think so. What should I do? Um, let's mm. add some cheese powder. It'll fix everything. Nice. Mmm. Yeah, doesn't seem to help. Okay, let's hope Marco likes it. Oh my! My chips are ready. A little salt, and it will turn out super good. Great! Well, and what kind of embers are these? Okay, I'll try a piece. Oh, what a horror! It's impossible to eat. And these look delicious. Mm, how yummy! Wait, are these all chips right, for all sure? Right, all right. I'll take a bite. No, no, it's strange. So, Grandma's chips win! Yes. I told you! You've heard it! What? Oh, head chip will come in handy. Yes. I want some spaghetti! Okay, no problem. Right. For sure, okay. dear. If only I knew how to cook it. Well, uh. what do I do with that? Okay, put them in a saucepan. Wait, why don't they fit? How do you cook them? Oh, come on, get in! Uh, wait. <laughs> Stupid spaghetti, I'll show you now. Uh, come on, get in! What are you doing? First, you need to turn on the stove. See? And then put the spaghetti in the water. All right, all right, all right. See? That's easy. Holy They're holy. melting in. Okay. What's the matter? Yeah, oh. you definitely don't have a chance. Hmm. Real pasta is prepared differently. We take the flour. Yes. Pour it out with a slide. Make a recess in the center. Then take the eggs. We carefully break and knead the dough. A little black dye and you'll already get an unusual pasta. It is necessary to cover the dough for a while. I'll make time for it. Let's see. Okay. What? Oh, this what? is a mess. You guys, you all can right, take out the dough right, now perfectly. Right. <laughs> now we're gonna roll it out. Just like so. And now cut it. It turns out like real Italian pasta. Now we're going to boil it. Carefully put it on a plate. Perhaps the octopus is perfect for this pasta. Let's fry it. Put it on top of the pasta and you're done. Awesome! 
What are you doing? Why so much ketchup? There's no such thing as too much ketchup. Oh. Uh, wait, what's that? Andy, what are you doing? The spaghetti don't want to come out! Huh? Oh, okay, never mind. I'll get you now. Ugh, it doesn't seem to help me anymore. Oh, no! Uh, my video spaghetti should not look like this. Why are they so difficult to cook? Wait, what if I replace them with ready made noodles? I can definitely hand it here. Everything. Okay, we're pouring it out. Cover it. And wait a little. Ready made noodles. Uh, what a horror. These noodles are ready. Cool. Octopus, really? That looks disgusting. Uh, how to eat it? Mm, it's rubbery. What? I can't even take a bite of it. Disgusting. <laughs> Spaghetti with ketchup looks delicious. Let's try it. Mm, it's so good. Mm. We eat noodles in a box. Interesting. Mm, it seems not bad, but very spicy. My mouth is burning. Funny, I look like a dragon. So, Andy wins. <gasps> Did I win? So, now there will be something interesting. I want a donut. Cook me donuts. <laughs> it's easy. Yes, yes, it'll be done. Good choice. Uh, have they already started cooking? Well, the dough is ready. Cutting out the donuts in a special shape. Three pieces will be just right. It's time to warm up the frying pan. The main thing is to set the correct temperature. We'll pour some more. Oh, come on! Uh, it looks simple. Oh. Tom, don't give your grandma a heart attack. Calm down, everything is fine. Oops. Uh, what's next for us? Oil! Exactly. I think this much will be enough. Now we're waiting for you to heat up. What? Are you already frying? Okay, then I'll put it in two. One, two, three. A nightmare! The oil splashes and bites! Oh, man! Tom, why did you pour so much of it? Yeah, really? Awesome. Oh, I need to save my donuts! Oh, no. What a horror. It seems that something went wrong. My donuts are ruined! No! This is a failure! Oh, don't worry, oh, dear. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Whatever. My donuts are almost ready. I'll decorate them now. Let's cut it out here. Yeah. A human eats with his eyes. Therefore, appearance is the most important thing. Mm, everything should be perfect. Bellissimo! Yes, yes, pretty good. But my donuts will still be better without decorations. It's like that. Oh, what good fellows you are. And I, I came up with something. Some cheese. Like that. And super. We'll pour it into okay. the shape of donuts. And now for decorations, I'll take my favorite Cheetos. A little hammer moment. Does he even know what the donut is? Perfect! I'll use it as sprinkles. Cool! Mm, let's see. Yeah, it should be perfect. Mm, great! Uh, but something is missing. Oh, Grandma! Can I take this from you? What? Well, take it. Thanks! The frying pan can't be thrown out, but the stove will come in handy. Next, I need foil. So, I'll wrap up my cheese donuts and send them straight to the stove. It looks like everything is ready. Mmm, perfect. I can serve it. Perfect. Well, what do we have here? Woo! How cool and so different! I'll start with these ones. They look so delicious. Wow! And there's also a filling inside! It's really good! 
So, what do we have here? Okay. Hmm, pretty cute. Let's try it. Is it just a donut? Hmm, not that good. And what is this? Okay, let's see. It's cheese donuts! It's just amazing. After all, I like sweets more. Chef, you have one. Yes, yes, I knew it.